So how does it go? You use it for half an hour. You know, going half an hour coming. So how many times, how much time you are using? One hour. And this car is available for 24 hours, right? So in terms of time, it is far more than what is required. <coughs> in terms of the comfort, CT Honda is a fairly comfortable car. In terms of the speed, right, it has a maximum speed of 220 kilometers. <laughs> right? Kanpur has an average speed of 22 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of speed, it is fine. In terms of comfort, it is fine. In terms of you know, availability, you know, in time, it is also far more than what is required. So he decided that this car is far more than what is required for him. So that sense, you know, that he does not need to change the car okay. came to him and therefore he decided not to shift the car. He said then this is costing 8 lakhs. If I had bought another one, it was costing 16 lakhs. You know, 8 lakhs I have saved. I told him that this saving 8 lakhs is not all that important. What is important is that you have this feeling of prosperity now. <laughs> You can see that we have more than what is required for you as car. Mm -hmm. Then if you have this feeling of prosperity, now you are not influenced by the other. That something definite is there. Okay. Otherwise what would have happened, even if you have bought a 16 lakhs car, right, you are still vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody could you know, influence you, right? Saying that what this one 16 lakhs car, you know, people are buying a one crore car. You know. <laughs> but now that you have have this clarity that something definitely is required and you have it, you know, more than what is required, that feeling of prosperity is what is important and not just selling this 8 lakhs rupees. So you can see, now you will find, feel that yes, you have the feeling of prosperity by having married the 800. <laughs> and you are more responsible, right? Okay. Towards the right utilization of the car than the other people. So many of these things will start falling in place. Okay. So this is about excellence and competition. And I don't want to get into too much of detail of that. A whole lot of discussions can be held on this. Okay. <laughs> So, going back to this excellence, <coughs> this reverence is this feeling of acceptance okay, for excellence. And one expression of this feeling of reverence okay, is what is called as worship. The worship means the effort on my part to achieve this excellence. So if I see excellence in someone, right, I will have an acceptance for it. That is called reverence. If I have reverence for him, what will I try? I will make effort to achieve that excellence or I will give him some homework <laughs> to do this for me or do that for me. Okay. What will I do? If I see excellence in someone, Right? And I have an acceptance for this, that is what is called as reverence. Right? In response to this, what will I do is called worship. Right? What will I do in response to this? Shall I work or make effort to achieve that excellence or not? If I have an acceptance for the excellence in the other person, will I make effort to achieve that excellence? Yes. Or not? Yes. yes. That is what is called worship. So worship is the effort to achieve the excellence which I see in someone whom I am revering, right? Who I am reverence for. Is this correct definition of worship? Or I give him some homework to do. Do this for me, do that for me, right? If we have excellence. Okay.
I will try to achieve excellence, make effort for achieving the excellence which I see in the other person, or I will give him some responsibility to fulfill, rather than I trying to achieve that excellence. So this worship is the expression of this feeling of reverence, right? Where I make effort to achieve that excellence which is there in the other, right? That is, I also try to achieve this right understanding and right feeling, right? The understanding of harmony and living in harmony at all levels, starting from self to entire existence. Right? Though it's Greek to me, because uh, some written in uh, Hindi, it might sound soothing to my ears. Can, can you read that? Uh, <laughs> 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 it is saying, Sreshtata ke liye kiya gaya prayas. Sreshtata is excellence. Prayas is effort. So effort that I make to achieve excellence, which I am seeing in the other person whom I have a reverence for. <laughs> More clarity than what you don't need. Slowly we shift to Hindi. But we thought that the mode of communication should not become important, right? <coughs> the communication, you know, is what is you know, essential. So we are in doing it in English when we thought it is going to facilitate. But certainly, if we can do it in Hindi, it will make it more effective. Okay, so this is about this uh, you know, excellence. Now let's look at this glory and this feeling of gratitude, right? Uh, this Glory means the feeling for those who have made effort for excellence. To whatever extent they have been able to achieve this. Right? If there are people who have made effort to achieve excellence, that is, who have made effort to understand the, understand the harmony and to live in harmony. Right? For that we have the feeling of glory. And feeling for those who have tried, you know, made effort for my excellence, is called gratitude. So feeling for those who have, you know, made effort for me to achieve excellence, that is, people who have worked for ensuring right understanding, you know, and right feeling in me, people who have worked for ensuring understanding of harmony and living in harmony for me, I have a feeling of gratitude. So the literal meaning of gratitude is whatever has been done by the other for me, right? I have an acceptance for this, is called gratitude. The word in Hindi is Kritageta. Kriya means, Krit means whatever is done. Gya I take, you know, note of it, right? Right? Da means to be with. So to be with the acceptance of whatever has been done for me, right? That is the little meaning of Sipageta. So the meaning of gratitude is that I have an acceptance for what has been done for me and what is the real thing that has to be done, right? This achieving of excellence, that is understanding of harmony and living in harmony. This is what needs to be done for me by my parents, by my teachers, by the society, right? So, this gratitude is the feeling of for those who have made efforts for my excellence. So, this is the meaning of glory and gratitude, right? You can see this feeling of glory is it going to be for those who have made effort for excellence, which is in terms of understanding of the harmony and living in harmony? 
Arpados, voy a hablar para que vengan las. So this is also another issue which I will leave it for you to. So this is the feeling of glory and the feeling of gratitude. And finally, what we have talked about uh, this feeling you know, of love. So when we talk about the feeling of love, let me ask you this. What is your natural acceptance? <coughs> okay. To be in opposition or to be in relationship? Everyone. To be in relationship. With one, with many, with everyone. Everyone. Right. So, this opposition is not what is naturally acceptable to me. These three are naturally acceptable. To be in relationship, to be in relationship with one, with many, with everyone. Right? So this feeling of being related to one and to many is called affection. This feeling of related to everyone is called love. Right? So what do you think? You want to reach here or stop in between? <coughs> reach right up to this or stop anywhere in between? So you want to start with affection for one, then for many, and finally you want to reach here. foundation value, right, which provides the foundation of relationship. If you remember, we said if this trust is shaky, right, then the whole relationship is shaky, right. So where you want to start? This is where you have to start. And then, ultimately, this is where we have to reach. Reach to the complete value, the feeling of love. Right? Now you can see, now you can go back and see whether all these nine feelings that we have talked about, right, are the basic feelings in relationship or no? Yes. Are they naturally acceptable to you? 
If you share this feeling with others, will it lead to mutual happiness? Yes. Yes. Right. That is what we have said. No? These four statements about human human relationship. We said the relationship is between self and the self. There are feelings in relationship of one self or other self. These feelings are definite, they can be recognized. If you have this feeling, right, and you ensure the fulfillment of this, it leads to mutual happiness. Right? And these are the feelings. And we are trying to describe the details of these feelings. We are trying to understand these feelings. Right? Now that we have described all of them, we can go back and ask whether these are naturally acceptable to us, whether it leads to mutual happiness. Right? So if this is done, you know, if I have the understanding of this feeling, if I have this feeling in me, if I am able to share it with others, right, and leading to mutual happiness, then there is harmony in family. This is what we call it justice. This is justice. <laughs> this understanding of the relationship, identification of feelings in relationship, ensuring this feeling in us, and sharing with others leading to mutual happiness is what is justice. Therefore, you can see justice is to be ensured in family. Where will it be ensured? In family. Not in the court. <laughs> <laughs> and what is happening? We don't have the right understanding of relationship. Therefore, we are not able to ensure justice in family. Therefore, there is complaint. Complaint of injustice. Right? Why there is a complaint of injustice? Because we are not able to ensure justice in the family. Right? Then we think that we can go to the court and get justice from the court. <laughs> Which is not going to happen. Right? We are responsible for ensuring justice. And this has to be ensured starting from the family. Right? So if we are not able to ensure justice, there is complaint of injustice. Those who are complaining of injustice are themselves not aware of the justice. <laughs> right? Because if they were aware of the justice, they will ensure this fulfillment relationship. So what is happening? I am not aware of the justice, therefore I am not able to ensure justice. I am expecting justice from the other. He also does not have the understanding of justice. So he is not able to ensure justice. Then I am complaining of injustice. If I have the capacity of understanding and doing justice, and if the other is not doing it, what will I do? Will I complain or I will ensure justice from my side? <laughs> I will ensure justice from my side. And I slowly I will develop this competence in the other person to do justice. Are we doing that in families? No, we are complaining, right? We are complaining of injustice, right? And we don't have the capacity to do justice. And the other person also does not have the capacity to do justice. As a result, there is a complaint and complaint. Right? So the husband is complaining against the wife, the wife is complaining against the husband, the father is complaining against the child, the child is complaining against the father. Right? And the family has become full of complaints. And when it becomes very aggravated, then you take it to the court. And the court cannot do it because, you know, it has to be ensured starting from the family. So if it is not there, the court cannot ensure justice. So this expectation that the court will give justice, this expectation is itself is not correct. And whether the judge has this capacity to do justice in his family 
a council match, an undivided society, right? A society living in relationship, <coughs> starting from family to world family. Society which is ensuring justice from family to world family. What do you think? You want to reach to this undivided society? Or you want divided society? <coughs> so this is our natural acceptance, right? To ensure justice from family to world family thereby ensuring undivided society. And what is required for this is the feeling of love. The feeling of being related to everyone. So if this feeling of being related to everyone is there, right? I will have this feeling of justice, right? And I would like to ensure justice from family to world family. Right? We will start with the family, I would like to go right up to the world family. This ensuring justice from family to world family would result into this undivided society. Now you can ask yourself whether you want to ensure this or you want to restrict yourself only to the level of family. Ensure this, but then it has to start from the family. Unfortunate thing is that we are not able to do it even at the level of family. Mm -hmm. It has to start from the individual. Yeah, it has to start from the individual in terms of its right understanding and right view. But then it will be expressed in the family. This is the minimum size. When you are talking about relationship, family is the minimum unit, right? Where this relationship is understood. Right? Feelings are ensured, they are shared with each other, ensuring mutual fulfillment. So justice is start, you know, is start with family, but it does not stop at the level of family. It has to go right up to the level of one family. It doesn't have to stop even at the level of nation, right? It has to go right up to your family. Because wherever this relationship is not there and fulfillment of relationship is not there, there is going to be opposition. There, therefore, there is going to be a you know, struggle and fight and war finally. So right up to the world family, there has to be this relationship, this justice. So this is what we wanted to propose about harmony in family, right? Now the whole proposal is there in front of you. Okay. You explore into it, investigate into it, right? And if there is any question on any of these issues, right, we'll come back and take it. And with that, we'll proceed to discuss on harmony in society. But let's look at this one. If there is any question on this, we'll take it up.